Yes, Guy, I want to ask you uh, about um, a very important theme um, in the Piers Essner writings um, about visualization, about visualizing something that you want to achieve. Um, but I want to make it a very practical visualization for you. Um, I'm going to quote a passage in Savazi Rose, um, which is a kind of spiritual diary he wrote. Um, and it's about making a goal um, and kind of a New Year's resolution. So he, he writes, if you want to serve God and to elevate yourself, if you want to make sure that you are not standing in the same place in your 70th year as, it, as in your 13th year, do this. Make for yourself a goal each year. Imagine in your mind, visualize in your mind, whatever your name is, what type of self you want to be in the upcoming year. What will be your achievements, spiritual work, character traits, and general schedule? This imagined self should be a way of measuring yourself. How much is lacking until you reach this imagined self? Will your daily spiritual work and, and self-growth achieve this imagined self for the upcoming year? End quote. So I want to ask you, Yiska, what is your New Year's resolution? In other words, what would you say on a personal level do you think you want to be by the end of the next year? Who, what do I want to be by the end of the next year, this year? Okay, in the most general sense, which is not what the PSS is suggesting, but I'll, I'll be more muferetit in a minute, I'll be more definitive, but in the general, I want to reveal more of what God wants of me. I want to reveal more of my understanding of why God created me, my basic yud, my purpose. I'm beginning to sense that that finds itself in two major areas. With my family, there's been tremendous tikkun, significant tikkun, and both with sibling, my siblings, with my children, grandchildren, and my, where I see myself and where I, when I medamyenet, when I visualize me with them, I want to be more with them. I want them to be able to depend on me and feel protected by me and feel secure with me. I want to be the best parent and grandparent and, and sibling that they could all imagine. I, 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 that would be... Wow. And, and Hashem is now. I couldn't have said that a year ago because the, the, the reality was not revealed the way it's revealed now. So yes, that would be surely number one, my family, my nuclear family, contributing to its betterment, its health, its well-being. Uh, secondly, in terms of my spiritual uh, purpose to, to help others encounter the divine. I'm putting it out there. I want much larger audiences. As, as much as I will always value, I hope to always value, my class, for example, at Pardes in a semester where I have a small group of students and I grow with them, they grow with me, and we have a bond that just becomes more of what it is with sharing text and through the text sharing spiritual practice and contemplative practice similarly to also in my community in Nachlaot here with various people. I do believe part of what I'm supposed to be doing is really getting out there in the world and sharing this world that is so right now in pain. There's this crisis and it's just growing and growing of people feeling alienated from themselves, feeling disconnected, feeling lonely. I've, I've talked with you about that before. I believe I have a voice that could help these people. And if I need to be before 500 people at a major conference to be able to share that, I used to think if one person in the room can walk out of here moved, I've done my job. No. 
if 500 out of 500 people can walk out of this room feeling a little bit more hopeful that they can actually have a better life because of one syllable I uttered, that's my goal for this year.